Okay, we're in section 16.3. This will just be one video for this particular section. Remember we left off, we were looking at acids of base strengths and looking at conjugate. <clears throat> Remember the strong acid makes the weak conjugate base and the strong base makes the weak conjugate acid. And what we're going to look at now are a series of equations and relationships between um, acids and bases, primarily in this section um, with hydroxide and hydrogen ion. Now, we know that water is amphiprotics, which means it can act as a base acid or a base. So I can take liquid water and liquid water, and one will give up a proton, and one will accept a proton, and I will get this. Now, this doesn't happen much, right? It's, um, again, this is just products over reactants. If I were to look at K, we're now going to call this KW. There's this equilibrium here. We're going to call that KW, or K of the uh, autoionization of water. It's very small. Um, it favors heavily in this direction. And the K, remember, products over reactants, but these are both liquids, so they're not in the expression, is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Now, the autoionization of water can also be written in this way. I can just look at one um, and not use the hydronium ion. Um, instead, just look at it as a dissociation. And again, I still get, and th this is tends to be what you'll see. Um, in fact, if you look at your formula chart. Let's do that real quick. Um, under equilibrium, we have these. We talked about this in the last unit. We're going to be using all of this. And if you notice, Kw is equal to H plus times OH minus. Um, and there's the constant at 25 degrees. Remember, that's room temperature. Um, that's there for you. Today, we're also going to look at these equations here and this one. Um, and those are all on your formula chart for the AP test. You don't have to memorize these. Now, let's look a little bit. This is always confusing to students, um, understanding what the relationship is between acidity and basicity and the concentration of H and OH and how it relates to pH and pOH. All right. Now, if you look at this, this is basically X squared is equal to that. What that means is this, these two concentrations are the same. And if they're the same, then it's going to be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 and 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. And these two multiplied together give 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Now, in an acidic solution, hydrogen ion concentration is greater than OH. And I'm going to put here, but pH is less. That's the problem. Hydrogen ion, lots of hydrogen ions make a very low pH because pH is log scale. It is not a normal scale. In a basic solution, hydrogen ion is less than OH, but pH is high, or I should say. All right, so that's going to be the problem. Just You'll just have to kind of work that out. Now, what we're going to do first is look at how we determine, uh, based on concentration, whether a solution is acidic or basic. Now, remember, we said that Kw is equal to H plus times OH minus, which is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. So if I have one of either of these, I can calculate the concentration of the other. So I'm just going to do the first couple. Um, that means that I can say for number one that 4.0 times 10 to the minus 7 times the OH concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. And if I put all that in my calculator, right, I get 2.5 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. So I'm going to put that here. All right. So all I have to do is look at my concentrations. This concentration is higher, therefore solution is acidic. I'm going to put here 
precipitation concentration of hydrogen ion is greater than OH minus. All right, I can do the same with this one. Um, we'll call this, um, or this will be number one, this will be number two. Um, hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the minus 6, which is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14. And hydrogen ion concentration here is 6.7 times 10 to the ninth molar. And so I can put that in here. If we look at this, in this case, this is basic because the OH minus concentration is greater than the hydrogen ion concentration. So I can continue to do this. I'm going to go ahead and write in these values for you. Um, you can go into your notes and make sure that this is true, that you can punch all this in your calculator and that these are the results you get. So this is homework for you to do. Uh, but the answers are there and you can see whether or not you're correct or not. That is all for 16.3.